The Transfer Stream Analyzer tool provides the user with a comprehensive analysis of the transfer stream extracted after demodulation of the digital signal being tuned. This signal can be received through any of the equipment inputs the transfer stream ASI input, RF input, IP input, fiber optic input, or even a previously recorded transfer stream regardless of whether the signal has passed through the CAM module or not after being received through any of those inputs. First of all, we need to open the terrestrial and satellite band settings menu by short pressing the preferences button. Here, we choose the right signal source, RF, IP or fiber optic, the right band in case of an RF signal, terrestrial or satellite, and whether the transport stream is received from the internal demodulator, you must choose this option in case of RF, IP or fiber optic signals, from the external transport stream ASI input, or from a previously recorded file. Once the signal is being received by any of those sources, we can access the Tools menu by pressing F3 and select Transfer Stream Analyzer, where we find four options Tables, Bid Rates, Alarms, and PID List. Choosing the Tables option will immediately activate the Transfer Stream Analysis Unit. The meter will initiate a process for identifying and capturing the transport stream signal and all its metadata, which may take some seconds. Once the process is completed successfully, we are shown in detail all the PSI, Program Specific Information, and SI, Service Information, tables, and all their related fields. You can navigate through any of those tables following their tree structure by using the joystick. If we choose the bid rates option, this feature will show us the bid rate information for each program in real time. The pie chart shows us in a graphical way the percentage contribution in bid rate of each service with respect to the total transport stream bid rate including null packets, which are displayed in black. The percentage and bitrate value of null packets give us crucial information about the multiplex available payload, which can be used to allocate additional services. Below, we can see the absolute values for the bitrate of the selected service and the complete transport stream. You can examine the services to check its video audio and data composition in bitrate, both in percentage and in absolute value. All this information is refreshed in real time. The Alarms option shows us the list of alarms as defined in the TR101-290 measurement guidelines by the DBB group and classified in the three priority levels set in that norm. These alarms will monitor different points at transport stream layer. You can press on any of these alarms and enter their individual setup menu, where we can see a log showing the list of events occurred, a description for the alarm, and a settings menu where we can enable or disable the alarm, and the alarm warning on the screen, modify the log size, and decide how to order the events for the alarm. The alarm log can be exported to a pendrive by pressing on export. The meaning of the icons by the side of the alarms is the following. The cross in a red circle means that an event for that alarm just happened. The exclamation sign in a yellow triangle means that there has been an event for this alarm in the last 5 seconds. The question mark means that the alarm could not be evaluated because the corresponding field could not be evaluated for enough time yet or the information needed to evaluate this alarm is not shown in the transport stream. 
Finally, the PID list option shows us an ordered list of PIDs with a short explanation of its contents. PID bitrate is refreshed continuously to help to understand bandwidth usage.